hello everyone welcome to my channel today we are going to study the integration of these three forms so if you come across any of these three forms you have to follow these steps okay so let's just go through the form so the first form is 1 upon a plus b sin square x dx okay in the denominator and in the numerator it should be 1 the next form is 1 upon a plus b cos square x and the last one is 1 upon a sin square x plus b cos square x plus c. So if you just notice in the denominator in the first term we have only sin square in the second term we have only cos square and in the third term we have both sin square and cos square. So in these kinds of question you have to follow some steps and you will be able to solve this kind of integration very easily. Okay. So the first step is you have to divide the numerator and denominator by cos square or sin square. Okay, so if your question is having sin square or cos square, you can choose any which or, uh, any one of them, and you can divide co uh, by cos square or sin square. Okay, now if you have divided your question by cos square x, you will come across the sec square. Now if you come across the sec square, you have to replace it with one plus tan square. Okay, and if you have divided it by sin square, you will come across the cosec square x that you can replace it by 1 plus cot square x in the denominator only. Okay. After doing this, in the denominator, you will come across tan as well as the cot. So if your denominator contains the tan, you have to substitute it with t and if your denominator contains cot, you can substitute with t. Okay. Any one, it will be there. Okay. Now, after doing this substitution, this will reduce to the form 1 upon a t square plus b t plus c d t. Now, if you just remember, this is nothing but a quadratic form of the integral. So, here we will do two kind of question which we will be able to understand this concept very easily. Okay. So, now the first question here is, is i is equal to integration 1 upon 4 plus 3 cos square x dx. So here what we will be doing here, dividing numerator and denominator by, so I will be dividing here by cos square, okay, you can divide by sin square also. So I will be equal to, we are dividing numerator by cos square, so that will become 1 upon cos square in the numerator upon 4 upon cos square plus 3 cos square x upon cos square x. Okay. If you can do it directly, you can write it out. Now, 1 upon cos square will give you sec square in the deno uh, numerator. Here, in the denominator 4, keep it aside, 1 upon cos square is again sec square x plus this cos square and cos square would get cancelled and you that will be give you 3. Now, if you just remember the third step was you have to replace sec square by 1 plus tan square but only in the denominator. Okay, So here we will write 1 plus tan square x plus 3 dx. After doing this you can multiply the denominator that is 4 plus 4 tan square x plus 13 not 13 it is 3 dx okay so that will give you i is equal to integration sec square x dx and this will be 4 tan square and 3 plus 4 will give you 7 okay after doing this you have to substitute tan x is equal to t the last step okay so we'll take the derivative derivative of tan x is sec square x dx equals to dt. So sec square x dx will get replaced by dt in the question and here will be 4 t square plus 7. Okay. Now this is a quadratic form. Okay. Now you have to take 4 common 1 upon t square plus 7 upon 4 dt. Okay. So before doing this kind of integral, you have to understand the concept that how to integrate 1 upon the quadratic form or the square root of quadratic form. If you haven't 
uh, if you don't understand that concept just go through my playlist you will find there and first learn that concept and then you do this okay okay now the next thing here is 1 upon t square and here you can write it in the square form that is root of 7 upon 2 the whole square dt okay now this is a special integral form where 1 upon t square plus the constant square that gives you the formula 1 upon a that is 1 upon constant into tan inverse of t upon root of 7 upon 2 plus c ok. So, this will get cancelled by 2 times. So, that will give you 1 upon 2 root of 7 tan inverse and 2 will come in the numerator that gives you 2 t upon root of 7 plus c ok. So, here in the next step we will just resubstitute the value of t ok that you can replace it by tan x ok. So, that will give you 1 upon 2 root of 7 tan inverse 2 tan x upon root of 7 plus c. So, this is your final answer ok. Hope you understood this first type of the problem. Next here is i is equal to integration 1 upon cos 2 x plus 3 sin square x. <clears throat> In the denominator if you notice we have the sin square term, but also we have cos 2 x ok. So, in the cos 2 x we have 4 formulas for the cos 2 x. So, we will use any one of them you can use. Here I am going to use cos square x minus sin square x plus 3 sin square x dx. After solving this you will get 1 upon cos square x this is minus 1 sin square x plus 3. So, that gives you plus 2 sin square x dx. Now, in the denominator we have both sin as well as the cos. You can again divide your numerator and denominator by sin as well as the cos ok. Any one you can do ok. So, here I will be dividing it dividing numerator and denominator by cos square x ok. So, that gives you i is equal to 1 upon cos square x. Now, for your explanation I am doing this step by step you can do it directly ok. Here cos square x upon cos square x plus 2 sin square x upon cos square x dx. Okay, now, this cos square cos square will get cancelled. In the numerator we will see 1 upon cos square that gives you sec square. Here it will be 1 plus 2 keep it aside sin square upon cos square will be tan square x dx. Okay, so, the first two steps has been done. Now, we will replace the sec square by tan square, but only in the denominator. Okay. So, here if you see uh, we have uh, in the denominator we have only tan square. So, we do not need to replace it because we do not see sec in the denominator ok. So, I will just uh, repeat this step and in the numerator you have you just write it down sec square ok. So, now we can substitute again. So, put tan x is equal to t take the derivative sec square x dx equals to dt. So, we will replace sec square x dx by dt and this will give you 1 upon 1 plus 2 t square. Again you can take 2 common we have to make the coefficient of t square as 1. So, that gives you t square plus 1 by 2 dt. Once you make the coefficient of t square as 1, you have to write the two terms in the form of a square. So, this is the in the square form both of this ok. 
which is 1 upon t square plus 1 by root 2 square we can apply the formula special integral formula which is 1 upon a a means your constant okay tan inverse your t upon again the constant plus c okay so that gives you root 2 upon 2 tan inverse 2 root of t plus c okay then after doing this you can further simplify it that gives you root 2 upon 2 so overall root 2 upon 2 gives you 1 by root 2 and you left with tan inverse of root of 2 t we can just substitute it resubstitute it that is tan x and this is your final answer of the second one okay hope you understood this two problems which is based on this three forms okay well this three forms is very similar and very easy to solve it once you remember all these steps also you should know how to solve the integral 1 upon quadratic form or and with the square root of the quadratic form okay because this is essential for doing this kind of integral okay hope you understood this thanks for watching please subscribe to my channel and leave a comment if you like this video thank you so much